I'm here to do a review on Batman versus Superman Big Figs figure. This is Ben Affleck Batman action figure. And this is a really large, nicely detailed action figure. It's 19 inches long or high. And here is the box that came in. At the time that I bought this, it was 1995. Now, because it's old stock, you're not going to get it for that price any longer. But I just want to do a review and more of a detailed look at this figure. And I love this figure. Not that it's fully posable. I mean, the head moves. And the arms come out. Let's see here. The arms come out. And his hands turn. And let's get him out of the box so we get a better look at him. Okay. Just a quick look at the box itself. It's in an open box, which is to reduce cost, I believe. And it was tie wrapped to the back. I removed him from the box. This is Batman versus Superman, Big Figs, and seven points of articulation, 19 inches tall. This tells you a little bit more about the figure itself. Collect them all. I saw the Superman, it's from Jax.com. And I saw the figure in the store with Superman. Superman, I did not think looked like Superman. At least it didn't look like Henry Cavill. They also had Wonder Woman as well. I didn't think that looked much like her. I think the Ben Affleck one looked the most like the actor himself. Now, this isn't much of a toy, but it is really cool as far as detail looking. I mean, the boots are spot on. The costume, I think, is spot on. Now, the belt is not removable. He, his legs move. I mean, he can, his knees don't bend, but, and it's got a cloth cape. And so from the back, there's holes. I guess that's where the molds go. And I've seen, uh, and I think there's screws in there. I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah, there are screws in there that hold him together. And I've actually seen people, I guess you would say, operate on the Batman where they filled the holes with some type of putty and then sealed them up and painted it to match perfectly. I guess if you're that much of a stickler to make it, um, you know, so you don't see the holes. Yeah, that would probably make it look a lot better. I'm not going to do all that. I just, I just love this toy for the fact that it looks so much like Ben Affleck. And it's a great looking toy. Not so much posable. He's more like menacing. He just kind of stands there. And uh, that's a um, full shot of him. He just kind of stands there. And it's a great looking toy. It's not so much posable, but... Just a great looking toy. I thought it was really cool. I had to have it. And um, I just think it looks so much like Ben Affleck. I mean, it really does. It was the best of the three because it came. You could either buy Superman, Henry Cavill, or Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot. And I thought Ben looked the best. And I'm a Batman fan, of course. So that's the one that I got. And I really like this figure because of the way it looks the way it looks by itself is just spot on perfect and um i think if they made him more poseable his arms then you'd see like how you can see like the separate you know then it wouldn't look as good and i'm actually kind of happy with that it, the way he is in my opinion is is perfect um, he's more of a, I guess I say a wall hanger or he just kind of stands there or you put him on the shelf, but um, I think it's great. I like this. Um, it's gone up in value since I bought it. I didn't buy it 
to you know to resell it i bought it just because i liked it i mean you might get lucky sometimes you see on facebook marketplace someone wants to just get rid of it and you could probably get it for fair market value like 20 bucks but um they also have a 36 inch one that i think that's the size it's huge massive um they didn't have i saw that years ago in 2016 at that time uh they're you could find them maybe used on on uh maybe craigslist facebook marketplace but um this is just a quick review of batman big figs it's a um it's a great looking action figure i thought so that's just a quick review and um that's my opinion.